Hello there guys, this is Science Also. Today we're going to talk about the discovery of neutron. The discovery of proton and electron was a major breakthrough in science. After that, Thomson built the first atomic model, which was known as the plum pudding model. The pudding area was the positively charged matrix, while plums were electrons spread randomly on it. Yeah, you remember the pudding, right? Many scientists did experiments on this. All those contradict the plum pudding model. Hence, it was rejected after Rutherford's gold foil test and discovery of nucleus. Rutherford placed a zinc sulfide screen in a circular shape with an opening. He placed an alpha emitter in a lead box with a small slit so the alpha rays can move straight and faster. He kept a thin gold foil in middle. The alpha particles have a mass and also has a charge. To stop or deflect the alpha particle, there should be mass and a charge. Assuming that plum body model was correct, he started the experiment, but he saw deflection. When the rays hit the gold foil, although most of them went undisturbed, some of them deflected. To understand what happened, let's go deep inside the gold atom. To deflect an alpha ray, there should be a mass. So the gold atoms had a mass inside it. Rutherford named this as nucleus. After that, isotopes were discovered by a scientist named Aston using his mass spectrometer. When the same element is vaporized and ionized and accelerated through a pipe, it deflects according to masses due to electromagnetic fields around the tube. Aston understood that same element has same atomic number but different mass number, hence named them as isotopes. For example, when chlorine gas was placed inside the tube, it breaks down into two as CL1735 and CL1737. This shows that there must be a separate particle responsible for the mass of electron. Scientists faced this challenge of isolating this particle and then Chadwick came up with his fabulous experiments to isolate the neutron. And by the way, before we go into that, press the subscribe button and hit the like if you want more videos like this video. Okay, let's continue. This experiment was based on three steps. Step 1. He placed an alpha emitter inside a lead box with an opening. He placed a special instrument known as the Geiger counter in front of it. The Geiger counter deflects the right if it has a positive charge. In this case, alpha particles hit the Geiger counter, a deflection was observed. This shows that alpha rays are positively charged. Step 2. He placed a beryllium plate in front of the alpha emitter. Guess what happened? There was no deflection. You might think that alpha rays might have been stopped by the beryllium plate. Let's investigate his final step and come to a conclusion. Step 3. In middle of the beryllium plate and Geiger counter, he placed a paraffin wax which has CH bonds. Guess what happened now? The Geiger counter showed a deflection. What is happening here? When alpha particles hit the beryllium plate, they react with it to form carbon and neutral particles which is invisible to the naked eye. Then he knew that it was neutrons. When these neutrons hit the paraffin wax, it breaks the CH bonds in it and emit H+. This is why there is a deflection in the Geiger counter. So Chadwick was honored as the scientist who discovered neutron. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the like button. See you guys soon in the next video. Bye bye.